Hi, I'm Mary Beth Quinn, a mixed media collage artist from Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm back. I'm so happy to be making a process video for my YouTube channel. I've uh, stepped away for a little bit to do some other things, and I'm so happy to be back to this. This is one of my favorite things. I love to talk about process, and today I wanted to talk about the, I guess, formula that I found to really lead me into a creative flow. I normally don't buy into formulas. I don't think much about creativity is a formula, but you could kind of call this a bit of a formula. It keeps me on track and really optimizes my thinking state and my approach so that I can get into the flow. And while I'm talking about this, you're just watching me create uh, what I call a layered botanical. It is, uh, I just have finished a brand new class called Mixed Media Collage and the Layered Botanical. And this is a bit of the process that I teach in that class where we tint our own collage papers, semi-transparent collage papers, and then paint botanical figures on them and layer them one over the other and make these wonderful dreamy compositions of uh, spontaneous botanicals. So that's what you're, you're watching me do here. And I'm going to talk about this approach that I take with my creative flow. And it was sparked, the idea was sparked by something I was listening to and I can't even, even remember the source now, but it was, uh, I think in some sort of psychology circle, maybe a podcast talking about the brain and creativity. And they were saying that the brain has these different functions in terms of creativity. And one of them is the generative and one is the evaluative. Where in the generative, the brain is just spitballing ideas. Nothing is off limits. You're not thinking critically. You are just generating creative thought. And that's the whole purpose of this stage. And then later in the creative process, it becomes more evaluative. It takes those generative materials and begins to think in a more critical way. It begins analyzing a bit it begins making deeper choices and organizing. So when I heard this, something sparked in my brain and I started thinking about where do I usually get hung up in my creative process? And I thought in terms of the generative and the evaluative and I realized in that moment that almost Every piece of art that I had ever created was started in the evaluative stage. I started paintings trying to make critical choices. I started trying to plan everything out. I started by being very specific about the subject matter. And all at once, I realized there was another choice that maybe what I could do is start my paintings in this very free-flowing carefree place where I just responded I just didn't think too much I certainly didn't think critically I might pick out the colors of papers that I wanted generally to be on this painting but I didn't think much beyond that. I just reached for what sparked an inspiration in the moment. And I wouldn't think too hard about where it was going and I would just place it there. Everything that you're seeing here is just me trying to cover this piece of mixed media paper. And I'm not thinking too much about where anything goes. And I'm just gluing it down knowing that at the end of this video, 
you will see me at the stage where I cut these apart and then I begin to enter into the evaluative stage. And that is where I will begin to look at each of these quadrants that I have drawn out here in pencil as a separate painting and I begin asking myself, what is the color scheme here? What am I working with? What have I generated that now I can begin to organize? What do I need to pull back? What do I need to bring forward? But it is only at this stage that I allow myself to even ask those questions. And here's the reason why this is such a huge game changer for your creative flow. And that is because creatively speaking, this is a very natural way for our brains to work. Problem solving actually starts with really free flowing ideas. And then from there, once you have all of these ideas out in front of you that were reached because your brain was not in a tight place, it was not in a place of trying to get it right. It was not in a specific place. Once you have all of these ideas out in front of you, then you can begin picking and choosing and refining and making the most of by deciding what to recede into the background or what to draw forth with more bold color. And thinking in this way, having this small little formula dictate the way that I proceed into new work. Truly, it has changed everything. And now I look back and I realize Wow, that was really about the main problem all along for me, is that I started almost every painting feeling like it had to be right, right from the start. That I had to know exactly where it was going, I had to be in control, I had to make it look just a certain way, as opposed to trusting the process trusting that there is a creative process here at work and that I can, I can interact with it and I can put my faith in it and allow myself to be free-flowing and intuitive and trust my instincts. And then once I have those materials down from that generative stage, then I can begin looking at what's there and deciding what do I want to keep? What do I love here? What do I not like so much? What do I want to minimize? What do I want to maximize? So I hope this is helpful to you in your creative practice because it allowed me space to learn to trust myself and to trust the process. And really, that's all it takes. And if you'd like to learn more about this process that I'm working on right here, I would love for you to join me in the Laird Botanical. I will leave the link to learn more about the class in the description. And uh, I would really love to see you in class. And also, if you would like to see my favorite art products and materials, I will also leave a, a link in the description about that. I really have, over the years, honed my favorites. I love passing on good things. Well, as always, I so appreciate that you are spending your time with me. Happy painting.